This is one of a multiple videos showing you how to download, install, and configure a GNS3 on a Windows 10 PC. Okay, my Windows PC has rebooted, and now I'll start GNS3 to see if it solves the problem. As you can see here, GNS3 is able to start up without any problems. So disabling the Windows firewall and rebooting the Windows computer has solved the problem. When you install GNS3, don't forget to disable the Windows firewall if necessary, disable antivirus software such as AVG, and if necessary, reboot your computer. When you start GNS3, one of the first things you wanna do is create a project. So I'm gonna click File, New Blank Project, and I'll create a project called My First GNS3 Project. And I'll click OK. I'll maximize GNS3 to give me some more space. And on the left, we have devices that we can add to the GNS3 topology. At this point, there are no routers, there are some switches, there are some PCs, there are no firewall devices. This option shows us all the devices available, and this option allows us to connect devices. So I'm gonna to browse to all devices, and what I'll do here is drag a VPCS device into the topology. I'll drag another one into the topology, and then I'll drag an Ethernet hub into the topology. Now, in subsequent videos, I'll show you how to build more complex GNS3 topologies. But initially, all we want to do is prove that GNS3 works. So I'm going to click on Add a Link, select the first host and connect it to the first port on the Ethernet hub, select another port and connect it to the second Ethernet PC. I'm going to show interface labels by clicking on this button. Now you can make your GNS3 topology look good by moving the devices around. All I'm interested in doing here is getting an initial GNS3 topology running. I'm going to click Start to start up all the devices in the topology, and then I'm going to open up a console to the devices. Now the PCs have consoles, the hub doesn't, it's an unmanaged device. To make this easier to read, I'm gonna change the settings of PuTTY and I'll set this to a larger font and I'll do the same on the second PC. So VPCS gives us a lightweight PC emulator. I'm gonna to set to the IP address of the first PC to 10.1.1.1 with a slash 24 mask. And I'll set the IP address of the second PC to 10.1.1.2 with a slash 24 mask. And what I'll do now is ping the second PC from the first PC. Pings are succeeding. Do something similar on the second PC. Ping the first PC. And pings are succeeding. So what we've just proven here is that our GNS3 topology works. We've got a very simple topology consisting of two PCs and a hub, but this proves that GNS3 is configured correctly and I can build a GNS3 topology here. I'll drag a third PC to the topology and connect that to the hub. Once again, you can move the links around, move the devices around to make your topology look pretty. I'll right click on the device and start it up. And then I'll right click on the device and click console to open up a console to the PC. What I'll do here is give this PC an IP address of 10.1.1.3. And then let's see if we can ping PC1. Yes, we can. And can we ping PC2? Yes, we can. So 
the Genius 3 GUI is working. We've installed Genius 3. In this example, the version is 2.02. The installation process, however, is the same for all versions of Genius 3 2. I'll create an updated video if the installation process changes. Now, in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to run Cisco iOS images on the GNS3 GUI. The recommended best practices is to run images on the GNS3 VM. So in a third video, I'll show you how to download and configure the GNS3 VM and then run Cisco iOS images on the GNS3 VM. But again, at this point, we've been able to download, install and configure GNS3 and get a topology working. Now, before we go any further, what we should do is save our device configurations. So I'll save the configurations of the PCs. And then what I'll do is exit Genius 3. Genius 3 then closes. And I can shut down my PuTTY windows to the PCs. Now you can bring back your topologies very easily by starting up GNS3. If you don't want this setup wizard to display, check this checkbox and click cancel. To open up previous GNS3 projects, go to file, open project, and your projects will be listed here. Otherwise, select the projects under file, so in this example, I'm going to select my first GNS3 project, and that project is now restored. If you saved your configurations, they will be available. So I'm going to start up the topology, open up a console. So as an example, you can see that PC1 has an IP address of 10.1.1.1, and I can ping PC2 and ping PC3. So the topology and the configurations have been restored by GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.